you have another one called Further Thoughts on Sea Change. Yes. And that one, which, which was written, written a couple months ago, right. uh, the essence of it, if I can describe it, and you'll correct me if I'm wrong, is that because of the sea change that you described in your earlier memo, you think that there's going to be a sea change in assets that people are going to want to own, right. and they're going to want to own more fixed income assets because interest rates are going to be high for quite some time. Is that fair? That's fair. You know, the S&P has returned, S&P 500 stock index has returned 10% a year plus, just a little over 10, for 100 years. That was enough to turn a dollar in 1920 into $15,000. That's, that's a good rate of return. Today, you can get equity-type returns from what we call credit instruments, loans, uh, corporate, corporate loans, loans for buyouts. Uh, you can get high single digits on high yield bonds and leveraged loans, public instruments that are tradable and liquid, or low double digits on, um, on private loans for buyouts, the best buyouts, the biggest buyouts, uh, double digit returns. Isn't that enough? And, and loans on credit instruments, I mean, returns on credit instruments are much safer than equity. Equity just gets the residual. After everybody gets paid, they get what's left. Credit gets paid early in the process, and if people don't pay you, you get the company because they go bankrupt. So it's quite safe, and, uh, and uh, returns that are fully competitive with equities with a good uh, level of safety. 